All right, howdy, y'all. Welcome back to all you cowboys, desperados, and horse thieves. We've got another Western cosplay today, but not from a game. We're going to be doing a movie. I don't do a ton of these, but it's a great character and a legendary cosplay. So I'm going to show you everything you need to do to put together a man with no name cosplay uh, from the Clint Eastwood films, A Fistful of Dollars for a Few Dollars More, and The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. So, you're just going to start off with a plain blue shirt like this. If it looks familiar, it's because, yes, this is the same shirt that I use for my Arthur Morgan cosplay. If you want to check out that video, there will be a title card at the end. Next, you're going to add a faux wool vest. Now, this is the only one I could find, um, but for the price that you're going to have to pay to buy this from Amazon, it's almost something like 80 bucks, which is ridiculous for the quality of this. I mean, you could make something at a costume shop or a craft store for literally a fraction of the price so i think it's really really overpriced but if you can't find the materials you need at a, at a costume place or a crafting store this may unfortunately be the only game in town and you're gonna have to shell out the money for it you need to need this to complete the look so it's kind of a rock and a hard place situation next you're going to add a pistol and gun belt this is actually a replica of the gun that he uses in uh, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. I went with this one. I just like the length and the weight to it. Um, his other gun that he uses in uh, for a few dollars more and a fistful of dollars, that is a Colt single action army. Uh, which is, it's a cool looking gun, but I really just like the length of this. Uh, these old school percussion cap revolvers, uh, Civil War era, I think they're really cool. Next, you're going to add just a black scarf. He wears these in every movie. Uh, he ties them very thin and they go around like this. Just tie that on and have the ends draping down your back. You won't be able to see it when you're wearing the next thing we're going to add. The man with no name's poncho. Now, in the film, the poncho is actually green, but because of the degradation of the film that it was shot on, on screen at the time and in some versions of the film, his poncho can look brown. Now, depending on what look you want to go with, you can get green and brown ponchos. I just went with green. Next, you're going to add Clint's iconic hat. This hat is probably the most famous hat in all of Western cinema. Uh, this is a very, very expensive replica hat made by the Knudsen Hat Company in San Francisco, California. Uh, Richmond, technically, but uh, it's a fantastic hat. Um, I bought this hat from them in person, which I highly, highly recommend you go do, uh, because they can reshape the hat for you. Um, so what does that mean? There's actually a hat maker at the shop. He can apply steam to change the shape of the brim and freeze it in a new position. So when I looked at this on display, the brim was like, like more like a traditional cowboy hat. And I was like, could you please flatten it out? Five minutes later, this was the result. Now, if you've seen my Red Dead Redemption cosplay video, you're going to know that this hat is not exactly cheap. Replicas come in two flavors, very cheap and very expensive. I went with very expensive because I was going to use this for multiple cosplays, and I'm a huge fan of the movie and I wanted to get an authentic looking hat. How much you want to spend is up to you. You're a bit limited with your options here because simply any Western hat isn't going to do. Uh, if you really want to nail the look, you have to get an authentic replica. Okay, other notes on this cosplay. Uh, he does wear a kind of like arm guard thing in one of the movies, but he doesn't wear it. He only wears it in one, so I, I just see that. Uh, cigars, you can have those. You don't even have to light them. You can just walk around chewing on them. Facial hair, just grow out your beard a little bit. Uh, so you get that nice uh, rough and tumble wandering hero gunslinger look. Now, there are two styles that you can wear this cosplay. You can wear it with the poncho down or over the shoulder. I personally like this look a lot better. One, because you can reach your gun a lot faster, and it just looks cool. It's like a cape. Now the technical name for this is a Sarapa, but most people just call it a poncho. Same difference here. And there you have it, cowpokes. This is your man with no name cosplay. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. This is your huge help and encouragement to make more videos. Okay, one important note before we go, make sure that you are in compliance with all regulations regarding to prop weapons. Uh, if you're attending a convention, make sure you read the guidelines for those. 
And just in general, I try to advise people to be very, very careful with prop weapons, depending on what cosplay they have. If you're cosplaying as somebody from GTA 5, you may run into trouble because you just look like an ordinary person holding a gun. This is much safer because, unless you're somewhere in Texas, probably nobody dresses like this normally. So if a cop or somebody sees you, a security guard, they're not really going to think twice and they're not going to mistake you for somebody who's up to no good. I mean, it's not like you're going to rob a stagecoach because those don't exist anymore. Until next time, keep your powder dry.